Under arrest. And the failed attempt to shield the face of the man, popularly known as Grand Mopao, this man, loved and loathed in equal measure, became a guest of the state. On what can only be described as a dramatic day that started upon his landing at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport on Friday morning. It was a brutal manner that the king of Lingala handled himself at the airport, seen here slowly walking back to his dancers and kicking one of them, who allegedly had had a tiff with one of his lovers, who is also a member of his band. Bonjour. Merci beaucoup. Thank you the 60-year-old Lingala maestro would later make it to the citizen studios, denying that he had kicked his dancer. It was a happy incident at the airport. A pickpocket and a girl, a farmer, dancer of Quartier Latin, of Car my band was there. They wanted to fight Cindy Lecker and my dancers. All the while, an online storm was ongoing with hashtags calling for his deportation. The Ministry for Youth and Gender Affairs sent out a statement recommending that Kofi Olomide's visa be permanently revoked. The statement went further to say, and I quote, violence against women and girls cannot be accepted in any shape, form, or manner. It is a blatant violation of their human rights. End of quote. <laughs> And if it does happen that Kofiolomide cannot perform in Kenya, he will be reaping the bitter fruits he has sown over the years. Europe, and in particular France, is a no-go zone for the undisputed king of Lingala. This follows three counts of rape and illegal confinement against him by some of his former dancers. Some of these allegations have often been played down as most of his fans throng to his shows in appreciation of his performances. But yesterday's brutal attack appears to have sealed his fate. For Citizen Live at One, I am Anne Mawade.